like some truths, you know, I got some truths right now. Here are some truths. I want some truths right now. Here is the truth today. It's a sort of uh, swing virgin moving into Bowie then. Boom! Coming to a street near you, the lights that keep you awake, it could make people ill. <laughs> Well, that's the last thing we need. All councils care about is that they're cheaper. LED lights, like this may even cause blindness. We're getting some new lights. Oh, good, they're cheaper. Anything else? They're cheaper. Is there any other information? Oh, I've got you. People won't go to sleep and they'll cause blindness. But they are cheaper, you say. That's right. Dog thinks he's human. <laughs> no, well, we don't know, do we? If a dog thinks he's human, we don't know what it's thinking. I mean, we do know that it's eating an ice cream, drinking some tea, laying down on a bed next to his owner, Elliot. But that is not the only qualities that a human being has. I mean, what's the most important qualities of a human being? Self-awareness um, and the ability to communicate through language. What he does do is gets his own ice cream, takes a shower, has a cup and sneaks into his owner's bed. I mean, if that is your expectations of humanity, then I think we can get a lot of things to do that. Living like a king is adoring owner's home. is anything but a dog's life for pet pooch Ollie. The two-year-old Wayne Morena thinks he's a human. <laughs> he just says that, so he thinks he's a human. I've asked him what he thinks. Well, yes, I do. Do you think you're a human? I am a human. Oh! <laughs> he downed sugar puffs and a cup of for breakfast. He takes a shower after dad. I mean, I mean, how can he take a shower? Well, he comes back from the beach, does he? He opens the door, does he? Without thumbs, does he? He adjusts it. It's hard enough to operate a shower to get to the correct temperature as a human being. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's too cold. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's too cold. Goes on for ages and ages. One, they're just a number or an hour or something. My one goes on and off between that bit and that bit. And it's frightening. It comes out colder out of that bit than that bit. You know, so if Ollie has mastered that, he's not a human, he's superhuman. <laughs> but the German gun dog's real love is ice cream. Again, love is an, a, 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 an anthropomorphic quality that we should not be attributing to Ollie the dog. He may not know love, he probably only knows need and desire. He then hears the Mr. Whippy Van arrive at the, playing the Benny Hill theme tune. Well, that's a weird thing. That's not right. I heard one the other day doing the Blue Peter theme tune. They're getting too abstract. Anyway, Pavlov done that with dogs ages ago. That's a famous test, isn't it? They rang a bell, give the dog food, rang a bell, give the dog food, rang a bell, give the dog food, rang a bell, don't give the dog food. Dog still salivates. Pavlov, you out of order bastard. What do you want? What do you want? Food, is it? There'll be none of that here. Mel said he can't resist ice cream. When he hears the Benny Hill tune, he goes mad. Once the van kept going, he followed down the street to get his cornet. When it stops, he has no manners. There's none of that Britishness about him. No queuing politely. Children can be in line, and he goes straight to the front. Well, I'll tell you why that is, Mel. But he's not human at all. And he doesn't respect concepts like, such as queuing or childhood. Why is this here? Because, like, I mean, really, we just, we like, we know dogs are nice. I mean, it's not like, I mean, I there's a lot of stories where dogs are bastards and they bite a baby on the face or whatever. Dog thinks it's Satan, it eats a baby's face. Dog thinks it's a human, keeps getting in bed with us and having sex with us. Yeah, it's none of this cute Britishness about him. Yeah, why do we relate so powerfully to animals? I think it's because of totemism, because, like, we see animals as more having more clarity, more clearly representing attributes that are harder to identify sometimes in a human being because there's this complexity of mixed frequency. The dog you can project simple love onto because that you feel, oh, I just love the dog, the dog's cool, look, he's come up and give me a cuddle, I love him, the little guy. Whereas like a human being, oh God, it's making me jealous, oh no, it's lied to me. Confusing, baffling human beings. Let's have a look at uh, some information that might help us in our spiritual advancement from old Eckhart Tolle. Have you ever seen Eckhart Tolle speaking? I recommend you. He speaks very slowly. Most people have moments, says Eckhart, when they are free of ego. Those who are exceptionally good at what they do may be completely or largely free of ego while performing their work. Not me. I'm reveling in it. They may not know it, but their work has become a spiritual practice. Most of them are present while they do their work and fall back into relative unconsciousness in their private life. This means their state of presence, with a capital P, is confined to one area of their life. I've met teachers, artists, nurses, doctors, scientists, social workers, waiters, hairdressers, business owners, etc., etc., who perform their work admirably without any self-seeking, fully responding to whatever the moment requires of them. They are one with what they do, one with the now, one with the people or the tasks that they serve. The influence of such people 
how, that such people have upon others goes far beyond the function they perform. They bring about a lessening of the ego in everyone who comes into contact with them. Even people with heavy egos sometimes begin to relax, let down their guard and stop playing their roles when they interact with them. It comes as no surprise that those people who work without ego are extraordinarily successful at what they do. Anybody who is at one with what he or she does is building the new earth. Well, that's good from Mecca, isn't it? It's like the, when you're in harmony with your environment, you're no longer de defined entirely by selfish ideas, you're no longer encaptured in your own individual identity because you are broadcasting out, you are receiving inwardly, you are part of the flow of the universe. And it is attractive when you find other people doing that and that there's a sense of resonance between all of you, like that, that part of, when you're around people like that, it can awaken that part of you. I suppose that's you know the, the oft-repeated analogy of like if you strum one guitar in a guitar shop, all the other guitars will vibrate at the frequency of the one that you've strummed. That all of us have sort of similar qualities. We all have similar capacities. So that's why it's important that our culture, the culture we live in, is important. It has a responsibility because if it resonates at the frequency of oh we all treat each other as equals, we treat each other dutifully and lovingly, then that sort of is stirred and awakened within all of us. But if from the top down and there's a sense of exploitation and corruption and it will affect us all in our daily lives. So I suppose a culture that we have now dominated by greed and, and kind of a sort of, uh, the, the, on one hand we sort of see corporations and the powerful behaving in an irresponsible and exploitative fashion. Then we have this mindless, distracting popular culture that has no sort of real value. It's difficult, what, how are we going to be engaged by that? How, what part of us is that? How are we going to be fed, nourished, nurtured, connected? By that kind of transmission, it's going to be very, very hard for us. So that's why that's why the revolution is necessary to change that frequency, to change what's being broadcast. I would echo put it in very simple terms. There, I've made it a bit more complicated for you. That is some truths. That is some truths right now. There is some truths. There is some truths right now. Do, 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 do. Um.